they want me gone nah. But I ain't going away yeah. They told me I was wrong I me, I swear But look at my ass Da 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 Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Justin for Sports News Insider here with Tim for the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Guys, we have Amon Green, former Green Bay Packers running back and current UFL running back. Amon, what's going on, man? Oh man, not much. Not much at all. Alright, so we had a couple questions here we have to, we want to ask you. What do you think of the NFL lockout? Um, you know, it's a, uh, I think it's a necessary thing because a lot of teams got to get matched out. Um, for between the players and the owners, and, and in terms of players, in terms of active players that are playing now, and guys that are, that are winning, that are, that are former players, alumni, you know, I mean, that's just because of the, the part of the insurance where that takes care of us long after our NFL careers, because a lot of the injuries and things that we sustain during playing time, you know, don't really affect us right away. You know, it affects us when we get older. So make sure all that is covered where we don't have to worry about insurance that is taken care of, because right now, and up to the old CBA, you know, there was, we don't have insurance past five years, and we got to find our own, you know, and then it's kind of hard finding insurance, you know, when you have a lot of injuries, and sometimes insurance companies won't accept you, you know, because of that. So hopefully that is something that gets hashed out on our side, and then the rest is just for, you know, basically that, that affects the active players, you know, Ricky Pay scale, and the big nine point, I think $9.5 billion dollar pot, money pot of revenue, you know, from the state and the stuff of that nature. Yeah, Amon, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, do you think Roger Goodell is doing a good job as commissioner? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, when any guy, anybody replaces somebody into a new organization, I don't care where it is, if it's in football, basketball, you know, or being a new teacher or principal at a school or anything like that, it's going to be some bumps in the road and it's going to be easy decisions. It's going to be hard decisions. If you go over to the player side now, how if you were st if you were in the NFL right now, how would you feel about the job Demore Smith's doing as the uh, NFL Players Association director? Do you plan on working yourself back to the NFL or remain in the UFO for the rest of your career? Uh, well, I'm not in. Well, right, I'm not in the UFO. I'm just. Uh, I played that one season in Omaha, and right now I'm just uh, enjoying the summer at home, you know, hanging out. I'm just getting ready to do some things with. Uh, I work with the local high school, the Pier High School, East the Pier High School, and I'm doing a lot of things with them, and we're doing and working out this summer, and just uh, possibly, you know, think about um. For sure, man. Uh, what is your favorite memory while playing in the NFL?
this from Warren Moon, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, you know, guys like that. I played alongside with, you know, alongside them guys. Um, and then playing for Green Bay Packers for the years I did was awesome. You know, can't really do that. That's like playing on baseball. It's like playing for the Yankees or basketball. It's like playing for the Lakers or the Knicks. You know, playing for a good organization that has good fans around them. You know, and no matter what, they was always backing us up. And it was just, just something that I was very fortunate to be a part of. To, to be one of them 250 guys drafted on the NFL draft day because the percentage just kind of totally dropped, you know, once you get from high school to college and college to the pros. So to be fortunate enough to get drafted in 1998 and play, you know, I played 12 years in the NFL as a running back. And the percentage on running back going past five years or two years is not very high. So to do that at a high level, you know, I'm proud of myself and I know my family is. And, you know, now I can, you know, sit back and look, you know, look at what I did and, kind of pat myself on the back a little bit and now look forward to helping you know younger players you know learn show them what I learned you know through my through my NFL and college careers yeah I got one more question left and I'm going to uh, hand it over to Tim do you think Houston Tech will make this playoff this year? Uh, I, you know what I don't know because it's for every year they've for every season, even the two years I was there, and every season after that, they've just been right there. And I'll say, if any, you know, I said this, I said it last year. I said, man, this would be the year for them because you know, they have the talent. You know, so my only question last year was the running game, and that's been answered. They have Aaron Foster. You know, so now they have, and you know, they still have Matt. They have Andre on the on the outside with Kevin Walters, and um, um Owen Downs. He's back full speed. So, you know, once this lockout thing is going, gets going, gets done with. You know, that, I'll say again this year, they, they have a good shot. You know, now it's just filling in the holes on defense. They, that's what was kind of their Achilles heel last year with the defense out of the ball. You know, that it kept, it kept them out of close games. You know, the biggest game that pops in my mind is the Baltimore game. You know, it was offense, offense, most of the game. They went to overtime, and then, you know, just a bad throw here and there, but they had turnovers and got beat early or beat deep in terms of the, the secondary. So I think building holes in the secondary, and I think it's going to be a team that, All right, uh, we're talking to Amon Green, former NFL running back with the Packers and the Texans. Uh, do you believe you you said you played with both Favre and Rodgers? Do you believe Aaron Rodgers could go down as a better quarterback than Brett Favre? How, a question that came from one of our viewers. How did it feel to break uh, Jim Taylor's Packers running record? Um, it was great. You know, it was something that it was waiting a long time for. It seemed like it was forever because in 06, I think I finished the season like 40 some odd yards away, and then everything happened in that offseason where I changed teams and went to, to the Texans for two years. And then, you know, every day, really, that, that was on my mind. You know, playing for the Texans. And, Just a 
finally get that because I knew, you know, that you know, every guy wants to have something to be, you know, be proud of about their career. And, you know, I was already to that point, but that kind of gave me a little bit more to be proud of about accomplishing a goal and a record that's been sitting there for about 40 some odd years. So it was a good accomplishment. And the one thing that made me feel good about it was it was a team effort. It wasn't really just me running the ball. I mean, I can't run the ball without 11 or 10 other guys blocking. All right, uh, the final question we have. Recently, the NFL players ranked who they thought were the top players for 2011 on the NFL Network. Last week, it came out that Tom Brady, they believed, was the best player for 2011, not Manning or anyone else. If you ranked this list, who would you put at number one for 2011? Uh, that again? I didn't hear the whole thing. Who, who would you put as the number one player for 2011? Um, he was at 11. You know, but, uh, I would say, yeah, I would say that's a definite solid pick. Uh, Tom Brady, he has the resume, you know, he has a proven resume. I mean, he's been to several Super Bowls and won, you know, won three Super Bowls and was almost back three in a row, but it was on back to back. And then he missed one and he came back from one another. And he, ever since then, ever since then, he's just been, you know, he's more than God, but he's, he's there. Thank you. Come on. Thanks for coming on, man. We really much appreciate this. Hey, man. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Later. Dr. Yep. Bye. All right, guys. That was Amon Green, former running back of the Green Bay Packers and the Houston Texans. Guys, thank you so much for submitting the questions. I hope he um, answered your questions. We'll talk to you guys later. This has been an exclusive interview with Amon Green. See you guys later. Peace.